So I thought I would make a video about what I uh, learned, what kind of coding stuff I learned in 2019 and what I plan on learning in 2020. So 2019 was a very interesting year for me because uh, that was uh, the year I made my first app that was actually ready for release that, that, that people are actually using. It's called Earbeater. It's an online ear training application and uh, you can check it out if you click on the link below. But uh, that, that taught me a lot. Uh, I made the app in uh, Vue.js, so I started getting into Vue.js heavily in the beginning of the year. Um, and after a while, you know, I had to learn how to use the Vue CLI 3. Uh, I had to learn how to use the router. And at some point it got way too complicated. I had way too many components uh, using props to, to communicate uh, between all of them. So I had to learn how to use Vuex, which is the, uh, the state management system. So I gradually built on top of, yeah, like it was kind of out of necessity that I had to, okay, this is getting way too complicated. I have to start from scratch or I have to learn some new technology or I have to add on, on top of something, you know. So, um, so eventually I, I managed to, to kind of finish this app. There are still a lot of things that are not totally finished. And I also know that there are a lot of, um, there are lots of, things that could be done much better and I, I need to refactor a lot but um, so that taught me a lot so 2019 for me was the year of Vue.js and uh, I got heavily into that so how did I learn Vue? well I went on YouTube and I found some pretty cool tutorials by the Net Ninja um, he has a lot of great tutorials and I, I love them it's, it's really good um, but he had some on, on Vue.js and then I found out on Udemy he also had a course, uh, Firebase and Vue.js. So I did that and that was really good. I also did the um, Academind, Max, I think his name is. Yeah, he's also really good. He has a great course on Udemy as well that covers everything. So I did those two courses or actually I haven't, I still haven't finished both, both of them, either of them. Um, so uh, I, I should probably do that. But anyways, uh, that was a really good introduction to Vue.js. And apart from that, you know, when I uh, had some problems, I, I Googled it. I found something on Stack Overflow and um, I read the documentation for Vue.js. The documentation is really, really good. And sometimes I, I had to ask and ask questions here and there. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's how I got into it. So in uh, 2019, I also had quite of a detour and that's because I took a job. Uh, I took a job as a project manager, as a technical project manager in a company, software company. And, um, and it was great to begin with and it was pretty cool and all, but I found out that it wasn't me. It only lasted for about four months, then I quit again because I found out that I just need to be more creative. Um, I thought that I would, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought I would be able to write some code and be more creative in that job. Uh, however, I did learn a lot. I met a lot of people and uh, that was interesting, but uh, I'm happy that I left the job and um, I got back into um, finishing the app because I didn't do any coding at all. I was so I was so stressed and I was working a lot. So when I got home from work, I was too tired and uh, uh, and that really that was really uh, not too cool. So yeah, so I, I quit the job and I, I got back on track and, and thought that I would see if I could finish the app, the Earbeater application for a beta release before, um, before 2020. And I did, so that was good. So, but the interesting thing is like, what do I want to do in 2020? Um, and I found out that I actually, I need to get back to basics because I've been using Vue for a long time now and I'm actually beginning to forget how vanilla JavaScript works, you know. Uh, there are so many, when you work with a framework like React or Vue.js, there's so many things that they already do for you. You don't have to think about it. So, so when you get back to vanilla JavaScript, it feels like it's so far away from everything that you know. And uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to get back into the basics and um, the way I started learning how to code JavaScript was uh, watching code. It's a program online, uh, video program uh, by Gordon Zhu, and it's really great. And it focuses on the very basics of JavaScript, you know, the, the total fundamentals. And it's, it's great if you're, it's not, a, it's not even only for beginners. It's, it's also, if you've been working on a framework for a long time, then 
it's you tend, as I said before, you tend to forget the what do you call it the the the, the basics of JavaScript. So it's very good for getting back into that again. And uh, I did the free version first, the practical JavaScript, and then there's a premium content that I, I I'm gonna sign up for that again. It's I think it's like thirty nine dollars a month or something like that. And then there's a Slack channel you can ask questions and. And stuff like that so uh, it's pretty cool I'm gonna get into that again and uh, and just rebuild my vanilla JavaScript knowledge um, and another thing is CSS and HTML and that this is kind of embarrassing because I knew a little bit of CSS and HTML before I started learning how to code JavaScript um, but when I started coding JavaScript, I kind of, you know, I thought it was a little bit boring. HTML and CSS was a bit boring. You know, I, I could do some a, a basic layout and, and make a pretty decent website uh, using that. Uh, but I kind of didn't, the last couple of years, I didn't really learn anything new. So I, I want to go get back into learning about the semantic uh, HTML, semantic tags and uh, I also need to learn something more about uh, CSS animations, transitions and things like that because I never really got into that. So that's another thing I would like to learn in 2019. Uh, also CSS grid, I never even got into that either. Um, I don't know if I should get into another framework this uh, in 2020. Uh, everyone is talking about React.js that that's, that is the best thing to know if you want to get a job because uh, there are so many jobs for React, um, but I'm already into Vue and I really like it and I'm a very slow learner so if I have to start over with React and it's totally different than Vue.js, I think it's it's gonna be hard for me and it's gonna be very frustrating and I'm not looking for a job, not right now at least. Uh, I like to work on my own project and, and yeah, see where that takes me. Uh, so maybe in the future, but I would like to learn something because the reason I'm mentioning React is that there's React Native and I would like to learn how to make some apps, uh, but I would like to, you know, uh, utilize the knowledge I already have of JavaScript and uh, CSS uh, to make native apps for iPhone and Android. So what I was thinking is should I get into React Native, but there's also this native script thing uh, for Vue.js. I really, I haven't really checked it out yet, but I'm going to check that out in 2020 and see if I can make a simple native iOS or Android application. That would be fun to try. Um, what else? TypeScript. TypeScript. I would like to learn TypeScript. That would be great. A lot of people are switching to TypeScript. They are rewriting their libraries in, in TypeScript. Like I think even Vue.js, Vue 3 is being rewritten in TypeScript. So, so that's the big thing, you know, I should definitely get into that. Um, and what else could I learn? Yeah, another thing that's kind of embarrassing is I've never really gotten into too much backend stuff. I haven't worked with databases. I've worked a little bit with, um, with what's it called? Firebase, which is Google's platform. Um, and that's pretty cool. So that's, I, I'm going to get into that, uh, in 2020. So I want, I have a plan that I want to make like a, so you can log into my ear training application and you can save your progress and you can, uh, share your uh, exercises and with other people who are logged in and things like that. So I'm going to get into that and I think it's, I'm think I'm going to be using Firebase for that. Um, but let's see, it could be something else. So that's it from me now and uh, see you later. Bye bye.